so I'll write you every night, and I'll sign my name, love, always. And even if the sun will shine, I will always be here forever, love always. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental health. With your host, Minister Khadija. How y'all doing out here? How y'all doing today? Being blessed by the best. Staying protective of your minds, your hearts, your souls. Staying very, very protective of it. Because we are in such a climate right now. That it is so important that you hold on to everything that you know to be real. Not what you think. That can be challenged because it's not a time to be lukewarm. This day and time we live in, in you either hot or you cold. Okay. So with that being said, um, I don't want you to be ruled by fear. But I also want you to know that we are against rulers, wicked rulers, principalities, what they say, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we're up against right now. I want to say to all my young people out there. I know what's going on over there in Louisville. I know they're out there in Louisville boarding up these courthouses, um, doing all types of stuff to let you know what's already going on, okay? So do something that they're not expecting y'all to do. And I know this is just my opinion, but I've been around a while. Some of y'all going to listen. Some of y'all ain't. Don't go, don't, it, it, they, the, the verdict is the officers is going to be free. Uh, I know you know. I know you can't take it. I know. Don't go burn down the, um, a start that in the city. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. This reminds me of, we had two little boys. One of my friends, actually, it was, well, somebody I grew up with in, her grandson, Quatrevion Martin, I think that was his name, Quatrevion, was her grandson. And him and his little friend went fishing in one of these little ponds, and they went missing. Okay? And the whole summer, everybody was out in droves looking for Quadravion and his little friend. I can't, I'm sorry, y'all. My, you know, mine go, <laughs> you don't remember shit like you used to. But I remember him, of course, because I remembered his, I knew his grandmother. But the point I'm trying to make is those boys were missing for months. Months. Had drawn the whole city together. Black and white. Looking for Quadravion. And then when those police officers, I believe it was Frank Jude. When, when they weren't charged, because they had, with everything, after we knew they stuck ink pens in Frank Jew's ears, we knew that those off-duty officers were drunk, and they beat him up on the south side. His partner then ran away, got away, never come back to this town again, because they those police petrified him so much. And if those of y'all don't know the story of Frank Jew. He was supposed to be Emmett Till. He just survived. And his father, actually, was his father's uncle, was a, a, 
a principal at Lincoln High School here. Frank Jude Jr. What they did to that boy, because I don't know if y'all know, let me just say it real quick. He went to a party, and this is something for you little black boys to think about, with some white girls. And they didn't have no prejudice bone in their body. I'm not trying to disrespect the white girls. But y'all got to have enough um, wherewithal to start asking y'all white friends. Because uh, if they're not checking their racist ass uh, relatives, what are you doing with them? What are you, If you're afraid to ask the question, is your um, auntie, your cousin, are they racist? Because I ain't going over there. Don't just jump up and go because they ask you. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to have white friends and they would go, Oh, Khadija, you so crazy. I go, no, I'm not. Do, do your um, uh, clothes so whoever it was, do they like black people? Well, <clears throat> they won't be rude to you. They, I, I don't know. I said, okay. Because I'm not comfortable already. I don't even want to go into that environment. Now that's me. Okay? And I'm hoping somebody have taught y'all that. But back to this whole thing. Those little boys were missing. When Frank Jude, when that verdict came down from Officer Sprangler and all of those guys, they were acquitted. We had to get the feds to come in, open back up that, that case. That case was it, it had to go some over their heads here in Milwaukee. And because one of these cops was so crazy that he was chasing somebody. He jumped on the hood, started shooting through the window. Bah, 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 bah. And they let this, these guys go. All white jury, by the way. So they still do do that. And that's why I, I don't want to hear None of these, so if nothing else, I don't want to hear these Negroes telling y'all don't vote and you don't vote uh, because where do you think they get the jury pool from? I've served on a jury uh, more than three times. I can be more one of those people that say, don't, that say don't call me no more. That's how many times I've been called because I do vote. Okay. Now, all I'm saying is, for those of y'all here, listen to these other people put shit in your ear, telling you don't vote, don't do nothing. Well, I'm not going to say that I would stand out there and go through all kinds of shit personally. But if I was that young, I would. I can't do it now. I got too many issues. Okay. But if I was young, wouldn't nobody stop me from doing that. I'd strap up, put on what I need to mask up, and go do the damn thing. Because if nothing else, that's where your jury pool come from. That's who decides whether this black man or this white guy or this brown man walks or goes to jail when you know that they're innocent. And you have the power. The only time you're going to get it is say, uh-uh. We can be in this damn thing all night. We ain't going. Okay. So exercise your right to vote, please. And remember this. When that verdict came out, the same day they found those boys. Just like they boarding up them windows right now. So all the wind had been taken out of people's cell. As soon as they found those boys, about an hour later, <laughs> These people, I'm telling you, they're wicked. Remember? Spiritual wickedness in high places, young people. They're wicked. Okay? So, what they did was they brought it out together. We were so oh, depressed. But they prepared for that riot. Because they know Milwaukee will burn down some shit, too. We'll burn some shit down. Okay? Like up on Sherman the other, a couple years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm saying all that to say, young people, 
That's why they boarded up those those those, those windows at the courthouse. Don't be surprised when that verdict comes down and the officers are not going to be charged in killing Brianna Taylor. I've already said what my personal opinion is about those type of things. Okay? Because there are no... Uh, the police are just slave catchers. They came out of that family. So, as far as they're concerned and the whole system of that um, service is, is to catch us. To do us in. We're not worth nothing to them. I don't care how much they lie. And I'm talking about the 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 systemic madness of a police department. Okay? It's gonna be another Brianna Taylor. Just like you just saw Amber Geiger and both of them Jean. You just saw it. Okay, I might have to go here because my babies, let me pause. Okay, I'm back. I think what I do with my... Getting out of hand, totally. Anyway. Young people, older people, mid-range people. I just wanted to make sure I put that out there. And I don't want you to allow them to make the puppet master, the marionette. Okay, here we go. Let's board up the windows because now we're getting ready to show you. You already know this whole thing is deeper than what they appear to be. Otherwise, why it take so long? Why did it take so long to tell you all this? And then they got a black up oh, you can't listen. Attorney General. Republican and all this craziness that people now gotta pick a side between is if we don't have another thing enough things to divide us. Are you a Republican or are you a Democrat? Are you a rich or are you a poor? Are you a black or are you a white? Are you a fat or are you a skinny? Are you a gay or are you straight? Controversy. All this bullshit. Anyway, people, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Wait for a minute. Let's strategize. Think. You are the master builders and the master thinkers, so let's think for a minute before we get out there acting crazy. Because that's blueprint. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's kind of tired. Something can be done. And something will be done. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep your head up.